Hello, we're the Play Albit Rover team from Play Technique Montreal in Canada, and this is our submission for URC 2025. Our rover Kirby is in its third iteration and has proven to be a reliable and efficient platform. Finishing fourth overall and first among Canadian teams at the 2024 edition of the Canadian International Rover Challenge, we've since continued to improve Kirby, making it more dependable and agile, and we are confident that we're ready for URC 2025. Our sampling system combines a drill and a mini shovel system. The drill bores to the desired depth, while the shovel collects and transfers the extracted soil to our onboard lab for analysis. Pajobit's Rover Lab is an automated solution that analyzes soil in competition using a motorized carousel that moves samples through stages, a parasitic pump that pumps reagents, and a magnetic stir that mixes solution. Camera captures data and a spectrometer validates results, making it a compact, robust, and competition-ready solution. The spectrometer detects life encoding molecules using Raymond spectroscopy. The setup includes a 500 milliwatts near infrared laser, lenses, a diffraction grating, a slit, an optical filter, and a 3,648 pixel CCD sensor. Expected resolution is below 1 per centimeter, confirmed by simulations. The rover operates on two high quality military batteries in parallel, which can provide 20 amps continuously uh, at, a vol at a nominal voltage of around 29.6 volt. The battery is then stepped down by our own converter design, which can supply up to 600 watts to the rover, as well as providing different power readings for safer operation. Our power distribution boards redirects the power to other modules, such as motor drivers and the onboard computer. The battery is protected by a BMS, which is already included in its package. The rover is protected with a kill switch to completely shut down the power. We are currently imp implementing our custom-made system to drive the rover to replace the fully functional uh, but commercial one that we have. The motor drivers can be slotted on the motherboard to allow for easier debug control and uh, replacement. The security system is also equipped with a second kill switch, which allows to cut the power off to the wheels while maintaining the communication to the rover and the on onboard computer. The mechanical team has been working to make Kirby even more robust and suitable for rough terrain exploration. At the core of our design is an aluminum rocker buggy suspension system. This mechanism provides excellent ability to obstacles, ensuring continuous field contact with the ground. It also allows to keep our rover lightweight, 33 kg without any payload, and 48 with the arm installed. Our frame is made out of this loaded aluminum extrusion, which offers a robust and adaptable platform. Our electronic is kept safe from dust with a polycarbonate shell. Our custom 3D printed TPU wheels, featuring a two layer damping system, offer great traction in desertic environments while providing shock resistance. We've also designed and printed TPU motor protection to ensure the integrity of the propulsion system. We are also focusing on several key optimizations, such as reducing the robotic arms backlash, manufacturing a new gripper, developing a new set of wheels, and integrating a 360 camera module. Many of our current projects aim to enhance our equipment servicing mission performance by creating a more efficient, precise, and competition-ready rover. This year, our focus for the robotic arm has been on improving its intelligence and adaptability. Our six-axis arm has one meter reach and five kilogram payload. We've integrated ROS2 MoveIt for advanced motion planning and are developing a grasping system with YOLO-based object detection for autonomous manipulation. We run tests weekly to ensure reliability and operator proficiency. For navigation, we've integrated Livox Mid360 LiDAR and RTK GPS with Nav2, improving localization and obstacle detection. We're also working on an image segmentation pipeline to analyze terrain and optimize path planning, balancing confidence-based decision-making with NAV2's robustness. Simulation testing is complete with real-world uh, real validation next. We continue using our 2.4 GHz antenna system, ensuring a stable connection with an omnidirectional antenna on the rover. We've optimized video streaming by, by fine-tuning encoding for minimal latency and high resolution, improving situational awareness and remote operation accuracy. Our team has put a lot of work into making this year's Kirby our best rover yet. Thank you for your consideration, and we hope to see you at this year's URC.